Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I am showing you all how I get this quick and easy five minute makeup look. This is a look that I always do if I'm running out the door, if I just have a little bit of time. And then I also show you steps where you can like cut out or add in if you want to elevate your five minute makeup look um, and routine. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, all right. As one does, we're con, fawn recovery. Fawn beauty recovery and glow lip oil, obviously. My skin is not doing great. Um, as you guys know, if you watch any of my previous videos, I did indeed go see an esthetician, Kennedy. We love her. She's amazing. And I started doing like all new skincare. My skin was doing phenomenal. And then I thought to myself, if my skin's doing phenomenal, how can I wreck it? And knowing good and well that Alani new energy drinks break me out. How many did I drink last week? Three. I had three of them. Uh, and I'm suffering with the consequences. Exhibit A, Petunia. Exhibit B, Bartholomew. It's disgusting. It's rude. Uh, it's all my fault, though. So, and I already texted her. I was like, Kennedy, girl, I'm going to need to come see you ASAP, if not sooner. Um, so, anyway, that's what we're dealing with today. However, I have lots to film today, lots to do. And I figured that I would show you guys. It was actually on my list of videos to film my five minute makeup routine. Um, kind of whenever my skin's not looking right, whenever I'm not feeling right, that trash bag's still in the back. I'm going to move it this week, I swear. Um, shame on me, honestly. So let's go ahead and get into it. First things first, I already did my skincare. We've talked about this in a thousand videos before. And the next thing I'm going to go in with is the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. You guys know I love this. Um, I do have a little bit of discoloration around my eyes at the current moment. Um, I think it's from one, lack of sleep, two, no tan, three, my eyelash serum. Mainly my eyelash serum though. Also, to cover up these gorgeous Petunia and Bartholomew spots on my face, I'm going to be using the Hourglass um, Concealer, and this is in the shade Dune. And I'm just going to put it over the little spots and let it have its moment to sit there, um, as one does. I'm going to take my beauty sponge, and these are still my favorite sponges ever. Ever since Brielle used this on me the first time she ever did my makeup, I was like, I am converted. Now, the reason I love this concealer is it's easy to blend in with your finger. It's easy to blend in with a sponge, whatever you got. And it just blends in so nicely and seamlessly um, either way. And it's really light, but it definitely does, like, brighten up your under eye and your makeup. And, like, you can tell that made a big difference already. And it was just one single product. So, it doesn't give you a ton of coverage, but I'm not really looking for a ton of coverage. Um, I just want some color correcting so it looks better. Same thing with this pimple. Clearly, it's um, large and in charge and not going to go away based on some concealer. Um, but we can do a little bit of color correcting with it and make it a little bit less noticeable, which is all that I ask for. Now, my whole goal with 5-Minute Makeup is to make myself look like I didn't really try. So, I don't wear foundation. I don't wear BB cream. Any BB, BB cream, yeah. I don't wear BB cream or anything like that. I just put on... Um, the bare minimum that I feel like makes my skin look healthy. It makes me feel more confident because that's to me what five minute makeup is. It's like five minutes to get yourself feeling, feeling good, feeling confident. Now, quick trick of the day. If you do want a little bit, let me turn this off. If you do want a little bit more coverage on specific areas like Petunia and Bartholomew, um, actually maybe I shouldn't name them because then they're just going to think that they can take up real estate, which is rude. So pimple one and two little wretched souls. Um, you can put more concealer on there. What I like about this is because I did my skincare and it's been sitting there for probably five minutes or so. Uh, whenever I put makeup on top, it doesn't really look like any makeup. Like around my eyes, you can see it doesn't look like I have any makeup on. And then whenever I blend in this concealer, same kind of thing. It's not going to look like I have makeup on, which is my personal goal and is what I love. So also in addition to that concealer, um, trick of leaving it on a little bit longer. If you use a denser brush and kind of pat it in rather than a sponge, you're going to get more coverage that way as well. So, because I do have to film some videos, I might get a little bit more coverage out of it. Just so I'm looking not so red. This is a good color. The dune color. And then I go over that with my sponge to blend it all, blend it all in. Okay, next up is my favorite part, my bronzer. You guys know I love the Dior powder, no powder, um, in the shade 5N as my bronzer, and I use it on this big fluffy brush from Charlotte Tilbury. I just think it's the most natural looking bronzer that I've ever used. 
it doesn't really look like anything on your face because it's a powder and it's not intended to be a bronzer. It's not intended to be something that you um, necessarily like have to build up or that's supposed to create like a bronze illusion on your face. It just, it's that girl. It is that girl. And I'm going to rave about it till the day I die. Okay. Next up, I, my phone's blowing up. For what reason? For next up, I have my blush. If you guys watched my favorites video or watched my TikTok, I talked about this. This is the Believe. This is not Believe. This is the Rare Beauty Blush in the shade Happy. It's not going to focus. This is the shade. It's stunning. Um, it is the perfect pink shade. And it makes your makeup look professionally done. I swear. I swear it does. It just like levels up your makeup. And I use it on this e.l.f. Flawless Complexion Duo, Duo Complexion Brush. And I just pat it in like so. And it goes on like there's a lot. Um... But it blends out really easily. And then also, in my opinion, well, not in my opinion, it's a fact. Like, blush is the first thing to go. So, I always put on a little bit more than what I think. And then I'll blend it in with my sponge. Blend it in just kind of everywhere. And uh, tone it down a little bit. But you can tell, like, even if you left it at this and didn't do anything else, like, that just looks so much better, in my opinion. Like, I just look more put together. Okay, so I blend it in my blush. Now what I'm going to do is my eyebrows. Now normally if I am doing a five minute makeup routine, I am only going to throw this in my eyebrows. Where's it at? The e.l.f. Wow Brow in the shade uh, Neutral Brown. But today I'm going to use it in the fronts of my brows mainly. And then uh, I'll use a pencil as well. But it just gives you like a little nice color base to work off of. And gives you a little hold to your brows. So, if you're in a pinch and you're like, oh, I just need to do my brows really quick. I just need to throw something in them to give them a little bit more oomph. This is a really good product. I've probably gone through, I'd say about 10 of these, honestly. They're really inexpensive and they do a good job. They're not going to give you a ton of hold. Um, but they give you good shape. And color and fibers. <laughs> okay, so there is directly directly immediately right after i did my brows with the elf wow brow now sometimes i'll go in with my pencil i use the sephora um micro retractable brow pencil in the shade medium brown zero five um sometimes i'll go in with this and like hit the front of my brow just because i like to have a little bit more structure in that area i feel like it shapes my face a little bit better and your brows are important obviously so you want your brows to be looking right. Okay, so I just added in a little bit to the tail ends of my brows. And I feel like that already looks so much better. Try and tell me that my eye color didn't change. I beg you. Try and tell me. It definitely did. I got better looking and my eye color changed. I'm just kidding. Or am I? Oh, also, I always top off my blush with um, ecstasy. <laughs> Took me a minute. Charlotte Tilbury Ecstasy. Stunning. Stunning. Necessary. Necessary, absolutely. Okay, next thing I do is go in with actually this. Sometimes I do this after my mascara. It really doesn't matter. I take this shade from this Charlotte Tilbury palette right here. This is the um, uh, easy eye palette for the Charlotte Darling look. And I just take this. You don't have to use this shade. Just use a really uh, brightening shade. Because I feel like that makes a big difference too. And I, that tickled my eye. My eye's never been tickled in such a way. Um, anyway, I use this brightening shade and put it on the inner corner because what a vibe that is, you know. Then I go in with my Ilia. <laughs> my Ilia mascara. This is the fullest volume mascara. And I like to use it. Um... For days I want more volume. Actually, you could definitely leave your makeup like this. But because I do have to film, I am going to put some mascara on. Um, so that's that. I honestly just had the time of my life with my mascara. I mean, I probably did my mascara for a good five minutes. Could have been longer, honestly. Um, I don't know. That wasn't part of the five minute makeup routine. But this eye was wild and out. Absolutely wild and out. So, I'm going to take my brown eyeliner, again, an optional part. This is just how to, like, level up your five-minute makeup routine at this point. Um, and I'm just going to put some in my waterline. Perf. 
And that is the tea on that. Now, moving on to lips, I'm going to line Barely with Iconic Nude Lip Liner from Charlotte Tilbury. I already put that Recovery and Glow Lip Oil on earlier. So, Iconic Nude. And then throw on a little bit more of the Recovery and Glow Lip Oil. Gosh, that smells good. Just for like extra hydration and shine. And other than that, you guys, no, not other than that. That is it. Literally it. So that's my five minute makeup routine. I did indeed struggle a little bit, honestly. I don't really know why. But that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe before you leave because it'd mean the world. Um, hope you learned something. If you didn't, I'm sorry about it. But I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Thank you so much for watching.